Hello and welcome back to day five of this wild Iceland road trip adventure. <laughs> and I am buzzing still from last night. That sunset was glorious. It was amazing and I'm so happy I couldn't sleep. I got to bed really late because I wanted to look at some of my pictures and I was just blown away by them. <laughs> so yeah, all in all, I'm really good. Apart from the fact that I have a little bit of a cold, um, it's been brewing since the airport. This is why I avoid people. Ugh. Anyway, I shall crack on and today I'm heading down south towards Vic and en route I'm going to stop off at the Diamond Beach which I'm really excited for and I've got some fun facts about that which I'll share with you in a bit and there's some other stops like waterfalls and other things en route which I will show you loads to see which I'm really really looking forward to. Yes, I will go and I shall see you on the journey down south to Vic. Mm. Welcome to the first adventure of today. Um, I don't know if you can see me very well because it's super bright. I don't know which way to sit, uh, so it's quite difficult to see. But I am currently sat in front of the lagoon that makes up the Diamond Beach. And I can't remember its name, so I'll drop it down below. But I came here first instead of the Diamond Beach. Oh, I can see a seal. <laughs> I came here first because I got distracted by the immense icebergs that were here. I could see it from the road. I was like, oh, I've got to go there first. It was amazing. So I've come here first. I'll show you some footage in just a minute because I just went on a boat around the lagoon, around the icebergs, and it was incredible, so good. And yeah, these icebergs, what happens is chunks break off them and they get washed up out to sea and get washed back onto shore to make up the Diamond Beach. So that's how the Diamond Beach came about. So it's really cool and I can see it just from here. So I'll finish up here. I'll keep admiring the view and watching these seals. Um, and then I should get over to the Diamond Beach and enjoy it from over there as well. But yeah, enjoy the footage and see what it's like. It's incredible. This is beautiful. I've never seen anything like this. It's amazing. So yeah, enjoy. I am at the Diamond Beach. Um, it's quite busy, so I'm going to try and see what pictures I can get. Uh, but it's beautiful, it looks so cool. My favourite is still the lagoon. I think the lagoon was incredible. Um, if you're visiting this area, I highly recommend doing both. Because they're right next door to each other and, you know, you get the full experience. This place just doesn't stop getting incredible. Like, I woke up this morning, I was just like, ah. Oh so like overwhelmed with how much awesomeness i've seen how lovely it's been like every bit i mean i can just see over here like a massive mountain huge glacier it's crazy like i've never seen something like this before in my life it's amazing so i'm gonna get down to this beach look at this sand guys how nice is this i want to take it home <laughs> so good uh yes there's lots to do lots to see and I'm very happy, very, very happy, like, happy. <laughs> All right then, bye for now.
Hello and welcome back. Uh, been quite adventurous today. Seen a lagoon, Diamond Beach, I went to another glacier, and I'm now making my way up towards Savata Foss, which is a big waterfall. Um, it's like a 1.5 kilometer hike. Nothing crazy. So we shall see how it is when I get there. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, we'll see how it is when I get there. <laughs> people just, but I don't care anymore. At first I was like, I'm not going to vlog in front of people. Psh, don't care. I'm going to see them again. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's really beautiful though. It's a stunning hike. I mean, it's on a path, it's easy, but there's like mountains in the distance. Um, it's a stunning day, super beautiful. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this. So I'll keep you posted on route and I'll show you when we get up there. So Varta Foss, bye. Hey, okay, I'm here. Ooh, I made it. Are you ready for the skies? I'm about to show you Savata Foss. I don't know why I can't say it normally. I like saying all the bit of oomph to it. I think it gives it more than as. <laughs> um, here we have Savata Foss. Look at this. How beautiful. It's super beautiful. So I'm going to get some shots. Gonna get some different angles and then I will get going to the Yoda Cave um, and I'll get some pictures on my way back so I'll kind of get on the way up here. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoy it anyway and I'll see you at the Yoda Cave. So I made it to the Yoda cave and it does look like Yoda. <laughs> I'll do a video in a minute so you can see it properly. Um, yeah, this will be my last stop for today. Um, well, until sunset, because I am so tired. And why is this zoomed in? That's better. Today has been incredible. I've seen so much and gone so far. It's just, yeah, it's going so quick there. <laughs> but yeah, there's so much to see, but I need to get a hot drink because my nose, my chest where I've been coughing is a bit sore. But this cave is immense. It's so tall and just like, yeah, how does it even create like something like this? It's incredible. Earth is amazing. Uh, yeah, so I'll get taking some pictures and I'll show you some clips of the cave and the beach and just some shots as well I got on route because I stopped a couple of times as well. Couldn't help myself. <laughs> anyway, I'll catch you at the cabin uh, where I'm gonna get some more pasta or maybe soup and a cup of coffee because I need to wake up. <laughs> catch you in a bit. Close your eyes, hear the voice within calling This heavy load got under your skin Hello and welcome to this stunning cabin. If I could have a house, it'd be one like this. I love like the exposed wood. I think it's beautiful. And I feel very spoiled and treated well this week. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. <laughs> it's nice to treat yourself every now and then, eh? And what I've decided is I am so tired and my cold's been annoying me that I'm just gonna have my soup. I've got it here, it's quite nice. 
squared bowl though, very weird. And I'm just gonna chill here this evening and I'll go to the black beach tomorrow morning because uh, I want to take all this in. This is beautiful. There's no point um, paying to stay somewhere if you're not going to make the most of it. So I'm going to stay here tonight and pop my feet up and just get an early light maybe <laughs> and just relax a bit because it's beautiful. My favourite thing from today was the lagoon and going on the boat trip. I still can't get over that. It was just amazing. Um, really, really incredible. Anyway, I will get eating my soup and tomorrow I head... Where am I heading? to the black beach <laughs> and then possibly to the plane wreck and some waterfalls. I think Skogafoss is possibly on the list tomorrow. And then I go to my very cool accommodation tomorrow. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna have a lovely evening in this cabin to myself and I'm gonna enjoy it because that's what life's about. When you work hard and you treat yourself, you should enjoy it. So I'm gonna enjoy this, I'm gonna enjoy it good. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow for the next adventure, or the next leg of the adventure, and yeah, goodbye for now. Bye-bye!